Hey guys, this is Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch, and um, I'm going to talk about an interesting thing. Now, there's some other videos on our uh, page about air ride systems and how they work. <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today is just one thing, the controls. What do you do with the three switches? i got to tell you, over the years, in explaining how to work the motorhome, we have a middle block on these three switches. Okay, and it's not like it's it's a bad thing. It's just that <clears throat> the air ride system in a GMC is a very unique, very important thing. It really helps you. And to come up with this idea in 1973, yeah, Star Wars. So here's here's the deal. Here's how you use it. Now a lot of you guys, and you have to admit it. It's okay. You don't have to tell me. Just raise your hand. You're in your your own house, right? You just put air in it, lock it off, and go, right? Hey, hey, it's okay. But if you use the air ride system, you'd be surprised. Okay? Here's how it works <coughs> this is a power level system. You've got two knobs. If you have two knobs on your dash, I'm talking to you. Okay? It's a, it's a mechanical pneumatic system. If you have air in the tank, the knobs are going to work. This is an electro level system. You got three switches, right? Also, <clears throat> electro level two. Dun, 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 dun. Anybody with those? I'm sorry. Um, we'll have to have another whole world about what to do with that because it's not supported anymore. So let's not, well, yeah, if you have an electro level two, the switches will still do the same. So let's talk about it. All right. Now, you guys with the power level, 73, 4, 5, and early 76, <clears throat> follow along with what I'm talking about to these guys, and now it'll be really easy to tell you what's happening here. Okay? Now, here's your three switches. This one's labeled left, this one labeled right, and this is your auto. Okay? Now, the ones on the left and right have off in the middle. It's a three position switch. Don't you love my drawing? All right, I haven't got any better. <clears throat> so that's a three position switch. You got up and you got down. I think they say raise and lower. I'm going to be politically correct. You got up and down, okay? <clears throat> now, this is the manual part of the air ride system. The manual part, okay? So if you want to go up or you want to go down, these are your switches, okay? This part right here is the automatic part. Now it's a two position switch. You have hold. You could actually call that off because <laughs> In the early 70s, they were having so many warranty problems because this one was hot all the time. And if you had a small leak, there's a, about a four-gallon tank there, the thing would start cycling. The compressor would turn on and off, on and off, and of course they put it under the driver's foot so he's going to feel it every time, send it back into warranty. <coughs> what they did on the electro level, when you push it on hold and you have these two in off, the whole system's off. And the tank's about the size of your fist. So even if the whole thing drains out, it's not going to take more than 30 seconds or so for the tank, for the compressor to put it back in that little tank, and you'll never know there's an air leak. The mechanics loved it, <laughs> okay? So it was a big improvement. I have, both of my coaches are early power level, and I put a switch, toggle switch right there to shut it off, so I don't have to listen to it cycling, because of course they leak. All right, <clears throat> so. This is the automatic section. These two are the manual section. If this is in hold, that means the whole, that that system, that automatic system is off. Now, you can run manual or you can run automatic. Select one. You want to run automatic? Great. These two are off. You flip this one to travel or what I think travel or auto. I'll get it all, I'll man all the time. So you flip that down, <coughs> now it's in travel. What's that mean? 
That has a solenoid that sends the, the, the air to a height control valve, one on each side. Okay? And in travel, you want the back of the coach to be an inch and a half to two inches lower so it drives better on the highway. The other video tells about why. Let's not go there. <coughs> so when you push it in travel, it'll balance the thing. You got water in it now, okay, so a little heavier over here. So it'll balance it out, and then it'll drop the back an inch and a half to two inches. That's highway, okay? That's where you want to be in the highway. <coughs> There's a formula from the back axle to the bumper. The further that area is, the higher that bumper has to be to miss civil engineer speed bumps, swales, and all that kind of stuff. But when you're in travel, the formula does not work. Theoretically, you're on a highway. There's not going to be any speed bumps, swales, and curves. <coughs> you want maximum driving, so the back end is down. Okay? Formula doesn't work. Okay, that's the problem. Automatic is only used on the highway. When you're in town, have it off on hold. Actually, think off. <coughs> now you come to your manual. Now, when you're in auto, it's too low, right? What do you want to do? You want to raise it up. Okay, push raise, left and right. And if you're in travel, where you're an inch and a half to two inches down, and you push raise, count 60 seconds. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant, six elephant. 60 seconds. <clears throat> the techno used to go, oh, how much CFM do we have? It'll be 65 seconds. Forget it, man. 60 seconds. The compressor will bring the back of it up where the rocker panel is at least level to the ground, if not a little bit higher. So the formula works, so you're not going to drag your butt. Right? <clears throat> so you hold those and raise, count 60 seconds, and then put them to off in the middle. Okay? Now you're in town. Also, this helps you because your caster, again, the other video, go watch it. Your caster goes negative, you can turn tight. It's kind of like taking the handlebars of a bicycle and turning it backwards. Don't let it go. <laughs> right? So <clears throat> when you're in town, you should be approximately 60 seconds higher than travel. Okay? All right. So you get to your, your spot where you're going to park. And you're in an old RV park. The new RV park's just about a level anymore. Okay? Let's say you're in an old RV park that you're in there cattywampus. Now, of course, you can use the raise and lower to balance the coach. You can do that. Oh, we got colors. New cool. ones. Great ones. Look. Uh -huh. <coughs> So you can use the manual to balance the coach if you want to. Okay? Probably won't use it for that. Now if you look at the manual, the big old section about how a raise and lower, and it says you can't be in raise over 15 miles an hour. Okay? Well, that kind of flies in the face of what I just said. To be honest with you, I personally think the attorneys wrote that. Because Bubba likes his truck jacked up, 1973, right? Well, he's gonna, you say this thing will do 90 miles an hour. Well, boats can go 90 miles an hour with the thing jacked up. You say that the, the handling is rough on, on the high speeds. He's going to kill everybody. They're going to sue us because Bubba left it in race. Can't go over 15 miles an hour in race. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. I really think it should be, it needs to be level to the ground or a little higher in the back because of the formula. Whatever they say, I'll just tell you that. All right, <clears throat> so you leave your house. You fire the coach up, you let it warm up, okay? Put this on travel. What will happen is the compressor will build up the tank, it will balance it out from the predetermined level, boom, pressure up and shut off. Okay, Skippy, we're at, we're at baseline, all right? <clears throat> so then, Remember, you're, you're in your driveway. Push hold and push left and right and raise and count the proverbial 60 seconds. Comes up, your formulas work, you turn it on off. Also, you know your air ride system works. Don't leave where you're leaving until the air ride is up. Ask me how I know.
Okay. <clears throat> you have to have system. You have to have air in your back system. You look at a city bus, you go to the backyard, and all they're all cattywampus. They go fired up, they gotta wait five minutes till it pressurizes up and gets off the ground, now you can move it. Same thing with your motorhome. You need to know before you leave something that's secured that this system works. You also need to have a way to shut it off if you're driving along and it blows up. <clears throat> you put a shut off right at the airbag and a filler. Okay? If this blows up, at least you have a second way to put, put, put air in your bag and you can leave. If you don't have that, you got a problem. If you have a blown airbag, you got a big problem. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I got a couple folks here that got a coach and blew an airbag. Uh, so they're, they're taking a look. I'm getting a two for here. I'm explaining this to them and, and you guys too so I don't you know, lose any more sleep. So anyway, <clears throat> this is a great system. If, if yours isn't working, yes, it's going to cost some money. If you have a spring, there's no, there's, you know, there's no maintenance to a spring, right? Well, there is to an air ride system. But if you have it work, it's amazing. When you drop the back an inch and a half to two inches and your caster rolls forward, this thing's like a boat. You point it to the shore and let it go. Don't drive it. If you have to drive it, that means your alignment's off, there's a bad part, or your ass is in the air. <laughs> One of those three, it has to be. So, this system, this air ride system that came up with was literally, like I said before, Star Wars. All right, you guys with the power level, thanks for putting up with that. You have the same positions on your knobs. You have hold, you got raise, you got lower, uh, you got auto, and they're in different places.